Welcome back to Arsenal News TV and today we're going to first look at Edu urge to sign former Golden Boy winner that would bring great balance to Arsenal midfield and then we're going to look at Jack Grealish's 12 word verdict amid Arsenal's stance on £100 million summer transfer. So the first transfer headline states that Edu urge to sign former Golden Boy winner that would bring great balance to Arsenal midfield. So the reports are stating that former Arsenal star Michael Thomas has urged his old club to pursue Lille midfielder Renato Sanchez this summer. Arsenal have been linked with a plethora of players this summer as Mikel Arteta looks to bolster his squad ahead of the 2021-2022 campaign. It is understood that Mikel Arteta is looking to overhaul his squad over the coming weeks and wants to sign a midfielder to replace the departing Granit Xhaka, who has agreed personal terms with Serie A side AS Roma. Brighton maestro Eve Pesuma is one of the names that has been touted as well as Wolves midfielder Ruben Neves, who is stylistically quite similar to Granit Xhaka. However, it is Neves' compatriot Renato Sanchez that former Gunners' midfielder Michael Thomas believes would be the pick of the bunch. Renato Sanchez I have thought was excellent for Portugal. He brings real energy and breaks the lines with his diving runs, he told Court Offside. Having him as an 8 in the team would bring great balance, but I am aware of his injury record. Renato Sanchez enjoyed a stellar season with French outfit Lille, featuring 29 times in the Stugs, clinched the first league earned title in 10 years. His productive displays then earned him a display a place in Portugal's Euro 2020 squad as a Silicao crashed out to Belgium in the round of 16. Thomas has also been impressed with Sassuolo midfielder Manuel Locatelli, who the Goddess have also been linked in, to re in recent weeks. Then there's Manuel Locatelli. Box to box shows real energy and clearly has an eye for goal. He added, Ruben Neves is a really good technical operator with great experience already in the English game. He's very comfortable with the ball and that is how Big Claude Setter likes to play so he would be a really good fit. For me we need a bit more energy around the middle which is why I like El in there at times but Renato or Yves Bissouma would be a more ideal choice. The project that Big Claude Setter and Eddie are trying to build at also is clearly exciting for the players and that is what would be the biggest selling point. The North London club have already added former Benfica left back Nuno Tavares to their ranks this summer, and there are also advanced tools for both Adelaide midfielder Albert Sabila Conga and Bryson centre half Ben White, with the club confident both deals will be completed in the coming days. So it looks like Edu urged to sign former Golden Boy winner that would bring great balance to Arsenal midfield, and that is Renato Sanchez. Renato Sanchez is someone that is a Golden Boy winner, something that the likes of Erling Haaland, Kylian Mbappe, a lot of players have won that Golden Boy award and turned out to be top level players and Renato Sanchez is also one among those. But Renato Sanchez's real injury problem is something that Mikel Arteta will need to have a great watch on because we do know that we have injury problem prone players ourselves and that has cost us in big games as well. So Renato Sanchez could be a great addition if he isn't injured. So this nicely takes us on to the second piece of transfer news, which states that Jack Greenish's 12-word verdict amid Arsenal starts on £100 million summer transfer. So the reports are stating that Arsenal said to be one of several clubs that admire that Aston Villa captain and it's safe to say the attacking midfielder is a big fan of the Emirates Stadium. Also reportedly one of the several clubs that admire Aston Villa captain Jack Grealish. That is according to The Athletic, who has revealed the latest of the attacking midfielder's future amid talk of a £100 million move this summer, with Premier League champions Manchester City strongly linked. The report does state that Aston Villa want Grealish to sign a new contract so he can play at least another season with supporters back inside Villa Park, but if he is unwilling to do so, then a decision will have to be made regarding whether or not to sell should they receive a suitable offer this summer. Moves to the Etihad Stadium is regarded as the most realistic re destination for Jack Greenish should he want to leave. But the mention of Arsenal is certainly an interesting side note. But well, it's highly unlikely that Jack Greenish will join the club, it's no secret that a large number of Gunners supporters will be encouraged by such rumours as the England National is widely regarded as a dream signing in this or any summer transfer window. At one stage during the January window, Greenish was leading a poll with, with regards to who should be wearing the iconic number 10 shirts, 
This became vacant following Mr. Ozil's move to Fenerbahce. A clear message to Miklo said to Anadu that he'd be the perfect summer signing. In a dream scenario, these also fans would get their wish that the 25-year-old would be able to call his favourite stadium in the Premier League home. Following a previous clash with between Arsenal and Villa at the Emirates Stadium, Jack Greenish posted a picture on Instagram of him in action with a caption, Pleasure to play at the stadium, my favourite stadium in the Prem. Whether that will ever play a role with regards to a future move to North London in the future remains to be seen, but also fans will be delighted to have been reminded about Jack Greenish's comments. With that said, the aforementioned report does touch on the potential alternatives to Jack Grealish, as Arsenal manager Miklos Setzer looks to sign a creative midfielder this summer. Leicester City's James Madison has been heavily linked with the move to the Emirates, and the Athletic have said the 24-year-old is held in high regard at the club. However, they claim that the club are not actively pursuing a deal at present. So it looks like Jack Grealish's 12-word verdict amid Arsenal starts on £100 pound summer transfer. And this is a signing that most Arsenal fans do want to see. It's a dream Arsenal signing. Jack Grealish wearing an iconic number 10 shirt, playing in the number 10 role. Someone that can operate in the left winger role as well. And really could be a very good improvement on what we currently have in that number 10 position. He could definitely rotate with the Will Smith role. We know what he's capable of. He's a captain of Aston Villa. He knows how to lead a, club, a lead a team. He knows how to be the main man. He knows how to get the ball from deep and score the winning goal. He knows what pressure is. I think he'll be a great signing for the Gunners. But the Gunners will have to pay £100 million to even have a chance of bringing Jack Grealish to the Emirates. Jack Grealish probably does want to play in Champions League football, which also cannot offer at the moment. But what we can offer is a good project to Jack Grealish and good wages, as, as he probably won't be earning that much at Aston Villa. So we will have to wait and see how Arsenal will use the summer transfer window in the end. Make sure you check out the FA Cup post a special link I will put below in the description. And smash that like button to see if you can reach 30 likes. Also subscribe for more daily videos and share the video with your Arsenal friends and family. Click one of the latest videos on the screen and I'll see you there.